surface tension. The aim of our experiment is to determine the surface tension of a given liquid by the capillary rise method. We are provided with a capillary tube, the given liquid is there. In order to measure the capillary rise, we are having a traveling microscope. Now coming to the principle of surface tension, the surface tension T of a liquid can be calculated using the formula T is equal to H plus R by 3 R rho G divided by 2 cos theta, where R is the radius of the capillary tube that we used and rho is the density of the liquid that we used and G the gravity, access to the gravity and theta that is known as the angle of contact and again for liquids like water and ordinary liquids which wets over the glass surface very well, theta is very small then cos theta is taken nearly equal to 1. Then we can reduce our formula to a simple formula T is equal to H plus R by 3 R rho G divided by 2 only cos theta is taken as 1 H plus R by 3 R rho G by 2. So, our aim is to measure uh, so we have to determine H value then we can determine the surface tension T value because R is the radius and rho the density. Now for that our procedure or apparatus consists of uh, the given capillary tube that capillary tube is immersed in a liquid taken in a beaker and we are using a microscope we are focusing a microscope. When the liquid here, here you can see the liquid rises to a certain height. Now the height from the top of the liquid surface to the liquid meniscus is known as the capillary rise H. So we are focusing with the microscope on the liquid meniscus initially. Now we are taking that reading with the help of the microscope. Now in order to take the reading on the liquid surface we are using a pointer here. The tip of the pointer is just coinciding on the liquid surface. So, the second reading is corresponding to the pointer that is the liquid surface that we are taking with the help of the microscope. So, that is our arrangement. So, initially we are focusing on the liquid meniscus and then on the tip of the pointer we are taking the microscope reading and the radius of the capillary tube is also determined with the help of uh, the microscope for that. The microscope is focused on the end of the tube that is the bore of the tube then the capillary to bore we can see like this. Now we are observing through the microscope uh, the we can have the horizontal cross wire the horizontal cross wire is here and similarly the vertical cross wire is here vertical cross wire is here and horizontal cross wire. Initially we are coinciding the horizontal cross wire on the top of the top of the bore on the top of the bore and then we are focusing on the bottom of the bore bottom of the bore bottom of the bore. So, the difference between the two the top of the bore and bottom of the bore gives the diameter. Similarly, we can use the vertical cross wire also vertical cross wire uh, initially the vertical cross wire is focusing on the left side left side of the bore and then on the right side of the bore. Now, when focusing on the left side we are taking the reading microscope reading and when the vertical cross wire is focusing on the right side of the bore we are taking right side of the bore. So, from that also we can determine the diameter then we are calculating the uh, mean diameter that is the we are taking the or uh, we can use or uh, we can use the microscope to find the diameter and the radius of the bore of the tube. Now, we can have the table column here we are having the table column uh, we are repeating the experiment two or three times. First we are focusing on the liquid meniscus, we are taking the main scale reading and the vernier scale reading for a particular arrangement of the liquid. So, main scale reading and vernier scale reading total we are calculating. Then we are focusing on the tip of the point their main scale reading corresponding vernier scale reading and the total reading. So, the liquid meniscus reading is marked as A and the tip of the point reading is marked as B. So, capillary rise H is equal to the A difference of B gives the capillary rise. So, for different positions of the liquid liquid we can repeat the experiment two or three times and each case we are determining the value of H and we are calculating the mean value of H. Then uh, from that value of mean value of H and the radius value we can determine the surface tension of the liquid. So, this is the experimental setup to determine the capillary rise. The capillary tube is kept vertically immersed in a liquid which is taken in a beaker. Now, we can see that 
the liquid rises to a certain height up to here. Now we want to focus on the meniscus. Now with the help of the microscope we are focusing, we are focusing on the liquid meniscus initially so that the horizontal crosswire of the microscope coincides with the liquid meniscus. We are taking the main scale and vernier scale reading here. Then we are taking the reading on the tip of the point. So, initially now it is focused on the liquid meniscus. Here we can take the main scale reading and the vernier scale reading. So, while observing I am uh, uh, here I am getting the coinciding main scale reading as 9.85 then the vernier is coinciding the tenth division is coinciding so the vernier scale reading is 10 so we are marking the main scale reading 9.85 and the vernier scale reading is 10 so the total reading is 9.860 now we are removing the stand liquid from here then we are focusing on the tip of the pointer we are focusing on the tip of the pointer Initially, the tip of the pointer coincides on the water surface. So, we have to focus on the tip of the pointer. Now, with the help of the microscope, we are focusing on the tip of the pointer. Now, the microscope is arranged. Through looking through the microscope, I can see that the tip of the pointer coincides with the horizontal reading of the microscope or horizontal wire of the microscope. Now, I am getting the reading on the microscope the coinciding the zero of the vernier is coinciding uh, gives a my, uh, main scale reading as 6.6 .6 here and the coinciding division is 10 so that the total reading is 6.10 and 6 that is equal to 6.610 so the difference between the two gives the capillary rise now in order to repeat the experiment again we are arranging the stand at a different position or at a different level then again we are arranging the capillary tube immersed in the liquid then the uh, height of the pointer is changed we can change the height of the pointer so that it just touches on the liquid surface then again we are taking the reading corresponds to the liquid meniscus and the tip of the point. So, by changing the height we can repeat the experiment two or three times and each time we are taking the reading corresponds to the liquid meniscus and the pointer and the difference between the two gives the capillary rise h. Now, to find out the radius of the capillary tube the given capillary tube is kept uh, perfectly horizontal and we are focusing the microscope the microscope is focused on the bore of the capillary tube on the bore of the capillary tube now looking through the uh, microscope we are focusing on the bore here i can see the bore here then i am focusing on the bore then for the microscope we are having the horizontal crosswire and the vertical crosswire initially the horizontal crosswire is adjusted the horizontal crosswire just touches the top of the bore here the horizontal crosswire just touches the top of the bore now on the vertical scale here i am taking the reading i am taking the main scale reading and the vernier scale reading here the main scale reading is uh, 7.85 and the vernier scale reading is 15 so we can mark 7.85 and 15 7.85 and 15 so that the total is 7.865 now, the microscope is lowered slightly with the fine adjustment screw so that the horizontal crosswire just touches the bottom of the bore, bottom of the bore, horizontal crosswire just touches the bottom of the bore, now it touches there. Again I am finding the main scale reading and vernier scale reading. Now here the main scale reading is 7.75 and the coinciding vernier scale reading is 20. So, the main scale reading is 7.75 and vernier scale reading is 20. So, that the total reading is 7.770 we are marking that ready. Now, we are having the vertical crosswire. Now, for that 
the microscope can be moved like this so that uh, the vertical crosshair coincides. Now, initially the vertical crosshair is arranged to coincide on the left side of the bore. Now, it coinciding on the left side of the bore. Now, I am taking the reading on the horizontal scale. Here, I am having a reading the main scale reading that is 12.25 I am getting here and the vernier scale reading is 20. So, 12.25 and 20 are the readings. So, that the total reading is 12.270. Now, the looking through the microscope, the screw of the horizontal scale is arranged such that, uh, such that the vertical crosswire coincides or passes through or just touches the right side of the bow. Earlier it is left side, now it is on the right side, it is focused there. Then again I am taking the reading on the horizontal scale, I am getting a reading of 12.15 uh, it is coinciding that is the main scale reading and the coinciding division is here it is 25. So, the total reading is 7.15 and 25, so that is 12.175 I obtained. So, I have obtained the reading corresponds to the left side and right side similarly top and bottom readings we obtained. Now, for the given microscope, the value of one main scale reading is 0 0.05 centimeter. That means, 1 centimeter of the microscope scale is divided into 20. So, each division is having a value of 0 0.05 centimeter and the Werner is having a total number of divisions 50. So, least count is value of one main scale division divided by number of divisions that is 0 0.05 divided by 50 that we obtain 0 0.001 centimeter. So, always the total reading is main scale reading plus vernier scale, vernier scale reading into least count. Now, for the measurement of the capillary rise, our observations are here. Initially, when the liquid is arranged at a certain position, we obtain the main scale reading as 9.85 and the vernier scale reading as 15. So, the total is 9.865. Then, for the tip of the point there, I got the reading 6.6 and 10 as the main scale and Bernier scale reading and the total is 6.610. So, this is the reading A 9.865 reading corresponds to liquid meniscus and the reading B the reading corresponds to the point there is 6.610. Then A difference of B gives the value of capillary rise that I obtained 3.255. Now, the liquid arrangement is changed the liquid is kept in a different height using the stand then my readings are changed the menis liquid meniscus reading and the tip of the point the reading changed. Again I calculated the value of the height again I got 3.205 then the experiment is repeated once again for another arrangement or for another height of the liquid then the main scale reading when a scale reading total 6.258 tip of the point the reading total is 3.055 and then height is again 3.203. And the mean value of capillary rise is H 3.221 centimeter or that is equal to 3.221 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. Now, we want to find the radius of the capillary tube we mentioned we can determine the radius with the help of the microscope itself. So, we are measuring the diameter first. So, we mentioned the microscope is having a horizontal wire and a vertical wire initially the horizontal wire is arranged such that it just coincides with the top, the top edge of the bore, the top edge of the bore. Then I got the main scale reading 7.85 and Bernays scale reading total we obtained. Then the same horizontal crosswire is focused or made to coincide on the bottom, on the bottom of the bore. Then the corresponding main scale reading and Bernays scale reading and the total is 7.760. The difference of these two, this one is C and this one is taken as D that means top and bottom the difference is 0 0.095 0 0.95 that is the diameter. Now, again for the microscope the vertical scale is there the vertical scale is made to focus or just made to coincide on the left side on the left side of the bore then I got the main scale reading as 12.25 and vernier scale reading 20 total is 12.270. Then the same vertical crosswire is made to coincide on the right side of the bore then I obtained the main scale reading as 12.15 and Bernays scale reading as 25, the total is 12.175.
then the difference between these two 12.270 that is c and 12.175 that is 0 0.095 so i am getting the diameter uh, le uh, top and bottom and left and right two diameters are there the mean diameter is 0 0.095 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter and from that the radius of the tube is determined so we obtain the value of h and r now we want the density for that we are using the Hertz apparatus now we are going uh, we already observed the observations uh, initially the height of the water column and height of the liquid column then h1 by h2 gives the relative density then height of the water column divided by height of the liquid column gives uh, the relative density so the relative density is 1.016 now the experiment is repeated for uh, five times in each time height of water column and height of liquid column are determined and relative density is obtained that relative density multiplied by density of water that is 1000 gives the density so the relative density is 1.0162 uh, and the density is multiplied by uh, density of water that is 1000 or 10 to the power of 3 now we calculated uh, the surface tension using the formula h plus r by 3 r rho g all divided by 2 and i got a value of surface tension as 0 0.0765 newton meter raised to minus 1 so the surface tension of the given liquid is 0 0.0765 newton meter raised to minus 1 that is the result of the uh, experiment